Hi there and welcome back. Let's continue with the urinary system and in this video we will be looking at the variety of obstructive diseases. Okay. The obstruction to the flow of the urine may occur at any point in any part of the urinary tract. And the most common cause of urinary tract obstruction in male is enlarged prostate. Another common cause of urinary obstruction is the presence of stone or calculi uh, that may develop in the kidney or bladder. Remember the kidney, the ureter, the bladder and the urethra, the entire urinary system and we are talking about the variety of obstructive diseases. Another common cause of obstruction is the, as I just discussed, uh, the stone that may develop in kidney or bladder. Uh, then you may have a chronic urinary infections, increased urinary calcium, increased urinary uric acid, medullary sponge, kidney that we reviewed at one of the prior video, right? These are the common causes of kidney stones. I like this slide because it gives the ureter, the bladder, the urethra, you may have a congenital, uh, the locations, it could range from kidney, ureter, bladder, urethra, uh, calculus, chronic infection, um, variety of stricture, stenosis, neoplasm, uh, tumor, benign conditions like a hematoma, you may have a trauma or injury, uh, gender specifics for male, pro inflammation of the prostate, uh, cyst could be a cause of obstruction, you can have a congenital neck obstruction, pa uh, papilloma, all sorts of obstructions that may happen. Yet another slide where we have a 24 year old with pelvic tumor and if we confine to focusing on the obstructions instead of underwriting this 24 year old uh, we have a, a stone in the ureter in the kidney and is almost heading towards the ureter and we have the stone in the bladder uh, the common symptoms are flat pain Blood in the urine, oh, pus in the urine. Yet another slide. Seeing is believing. So you can see we have a stone near calyx at the urethropelvic junction, right? So it can happen anywhere. Now you may also have a lower urinary tract obstruction and here in this slide we can see that what is going on. So hydronephrosis is there, we have enlarged bladder, enlarged kidney, small lungs that can lead to and there are fancy names given to different syndromes but just focus on the overall picture that it could lead to the obstruction to the flow of the urine from the fetal bladder and what can be the causes those are all put down here for the lower urinary tract and there are data to support this that the common contributors are the bladder neoplasm, urethral strictures, uh, calculi or the tumor, uh, BPH, when it comes to urethral obstruction, uh, stones or the calculi or the trauma or the injury, uh, you can have enlarged uh, uh, lymph nodes that could be causing or there could be some uh, congenital anomalies, right? And for the kidney, these two are the typical players, the stones and the polycystic kidney disease according to one survey. 
yet another survey that was done that reveals that urinary obstruction is more common in men. The causes in males are generally intrinsic, while in women they are extrinsic. Congenital anomalies of the urinary tract are generally obstructive. So the focus is congenital. In adults, the acquired obstruction can occur. So you may develop eventually, although it may not be congenital. And the causes, of course, it differs depending upon whether you are a child, male, gender specific. So because we said about the intrinsic and the extrinsic, so you can have a stone, tumor, clots, inflammation, that could be intrinsic, extrinsic could be pregnancy, tumor, fibrosis, uh, reflux we reviewed before. Uh, there are common aspects, common factors that can contribute although um, the location may change, you may have it in the bladder, you may have it in the urethra, you may have it in the prostate. Let's move on to other aspect of the obstructive diseases. Strictures and kinks of the ureter may also cause obstructions. A stricture is a narrowing in which, basically it's a narrowing and it may be congenital or acquired. A congenital stricture may result from faulty development of a segment of a ureter or may be produced by an aberrant blood vessel that you now know, right? Acquired strictures are more common than congenital strictures and there are data to support that and that may result from infection, injury, scarring from the surgical removal of the stone, benign or malignant tumors. Um, sometimes the scarring from the treatment that we get, uh, the radium treatment because of uh, cancer and other reasons, that may lead to and contribute to. Likewise, you can have infection depending upon the location. Those are the all contributors. Statistically speaking, there are data to support that patients who have malignant tumors that cause urinary tract obstructions have a poor prognosis. And makes sense, right? For other causes of the stricture, the patient's prognosis depends upon the duration of the stricture, degree of distension of the kidney resulting from the stricture, and the feasibility of operative corrections. So doctors put together and correlate all these aspects to arrive at the right course of treatment. Just like the underwriters correlate all the aspects of the profile of the particular customer or the insured to make the best possible offer. Right? So that's all I have on this video. Uh, there are a lot other aspects to cover. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.